learn more and more <clears throat> to be alive awake pasithir tanithir vigithir always be hungry means don't dump food and always be unclutched always be alive fully involved i can sit whole day in samadhi unclutched and get involved to the extreme details of micromanaging here i have many strategies principles policies to share with you all of course with the whole world we are going to be providing this important service now we have a large number of people interested in hinduism and kailasa we are going to be providing these services first hindu compliance body see just like uh, islam has their structure of halal meat even in the meat they have a standard these all the procedure should be followed only then this is the meat accepted as per their religion their standards their beliefs hinduism as a detailed compliance procedures for everything food business standards just like many countries have their own standards for service providing for hotels for any services provided even for that there are standards in some countries they call it isi mark some countries ag mark some each country has their own system the compliance system to classify the standard like three star hotel four star hotel five star hotel how you classify some religions have their compliance system some nations have their compliance system i wanted to revive the hindu compliance system to the whole world we are going to do this as a service to the world we are not going to charge anything for this anybody can ask whether their house is compliant as per hindu shastra we will provide a knowledge based service we will provide you with the details this is the way the house should be as per hindu compliance like a vastu based on kamika agama vastu kamika agama is the vastu agama it gives an elaborate descriptions and details how a house should be how a pond should be how a village should be how a city should be everything so we are going to be providing this service whether hindu compliance for house vastu shastra hindu compliance for personal jewelry please understand the hindu gemology is hindu compliance for personal jewelry you are born in this nakshatra rashi so these are the precious gemstones will be best for your attitude and aptitude and to keep you maximum available for yourself and for the world so hindu compliance for personal jewelries is hindu gemology 
into compliance for energy beads rudraksha tulsi spatika all that not just diamond pearl coral not just navaratna even the rudraksha all this hindu compliance for personal jewelry one beautiful thing is hinduism is such a rich religion it gives you vast choices actually it doesn't restrict you it just educates you and empowers you hindu compliance basically itself non restrictive empowering enlightening principles is fundamentally the hindu compliance principles if you ask about the jewelry you will not find a single restricting rule you will only find empowering principles you have this option that option this choice that choice so much you can enjoy with all this using your own creativity same way house vastu vastu is not restrictive empowering whether to conduct certain ritual or to conduct your business the hindu compliance or to offer some service elaborate scriptures are available i am going to revive and make it available please understand somehow unfortunately last 200 years forcibly we are made to believe hinduism is functional principle only for enlightenment and spirituality it is absolutely dysfunctional for political social economical system see making hindu family structure hindu social structure dysfunctional is the greatest crime done against humanity 